Yo, what's up guys, it's RDG here, and today we're talking about one of the darkest stories in the NBA. It's about John Drew and his addiction. Alright, let's get right into it. John Drew was born on September 30th, 1954. At 6'6", he was a very good combo forward guard. He attended Gardner-Webb University and played 11 seasons in the NBA. He was also a two-time All-Star. Some of his be his pr his best season was most likely the 1976-1977 season. He played 74 games, around 36 minutes a game. He averaged 24 points, nine rebounds, and about two assists, with it one one and a half steals as well. He was an excellent player, but what really held him back was his co cocaine addiction. We all remember the dark part of the NBA when a lot of players were addicted to cocaine. A report even said that about 70% were addicted to cocaine. And this was one of the saddest parts and actually almost ran the NBA out of business. One of the saddest stories is John Drew. He was addicted to cocaine for a while. And he played his final season only when he was 30. And actually averaged pretty good career numbers. He never really had a decline, and he actually averaged 20 points a game throughout a season. He was, again, a two-time All-Star, and his best last season was probably in Utah in 1982-1983. But he was banned for life from the NBA. At first, what was only a setback, Drew missed about 38 games during the 83 season while he was attending drug rehab. He would actually win the league's Comeback Player of the Year in 1984 for seemingly having overcome his addiction. But Drew relapsed into d drug abuse at around, 19 in around at 1985 and was banned in the NBA in 1986. What he was banned for was multiple violations of the league's substance abuse policy. We've seen this pretty recently with O.J. Mayo. He was banned from the NBA for two years, well, suspended, but he will actually be a free agent in 2018. This is sad, but I don't think O.J. Mayo was, was cocaine. We, saw, we even saw a couple people die from cocaine, like Len Bias, and that was probably the saddest one. But this one, he was banned from the NBA. He was the first player ever to be banned for life under the NBA's drug policy. And actually, a little side note to end this, as of 2002, Drew was living in Houston, Texas, where Charles Barkley had last reported seen him, He had, and he had finally had a grip on his cocaine addiction. He is currently a taxi cab driver in Houston, even though he made all that money from the NBA. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please consider subscribing. It really helps out, and we'll see you tomorrow.